Good day, everybody. It is currently the 14th of September, 2014, making this update right around 04 Universal Time. About noon Philippine Standard Time, we are continuing to watch now Typhoon Kalmiki or Luis approaching northern Luzon here just towards the east of Pelanon in Casiguran just off of Aurora. And what we are seeing is the storm system continuing to intensify just prior to landfall. Right now, actually, according to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, the Kalmiki, which is actually a submitted by North Korea, means seagull in Korean, uh, has winds about 70 gusting up to 85 knots. The Japan Meteorological Agency holding a little bit of a weaker intensity. Winds of 65 gusting up to 95 knots. Uh, regardless, though, what we are going to be seeing in these immediate coastal areas, we've already been seeing heavy rainfall actually across much of Aurora. People writing us here at the Facebook page telling us that the rains are currently coming down. If you have any photos or videos of that, actually, it would be fantastic if you shared them with us. I'll try to put them in our next video update. As the storm system comes ashore, right now, though, landfall is looking a little bit farther north than what we were seeing yesterday, which was around the Kasiguran area, a little bit farther down here towards the south. Now we're looking at landfall uh, just like originally we thought here around the Pelanon off there towards the north, uh, pushing in around the Cagayan area as well, uh, just towards the north of Iligan City. Actually, last thing we knew, um, videographer James Reynolds was down here in Santiago City. I'm sure he's going to relocate a little bit farther there towards the north. As far as Exactly where the storm system is coming ashore, though, the good news, it, it is a relatively sparsely populated area and what I mean by that if we take a look at the coast there's not a lot of towns here up and down the coastline one of the main reasons is because well this area is always battered with typhoons people tend to move a little bit farther inland away from these immediate danger areas so that is the good news about northern portions of the Philippines vice down towards the south remember last year with Tacloban a lot of coastal communities right out there out here it, it just gets hit so often that even if there are these coastal communities people tend to move a little bit farther inland when they hear the threat of this typhoon so hopefully people are taking it serious there farther inland the bigger threat out here uh, it, it's gonna be the rainfall once this does come ashore and plenty of areas across northern Luzon which actually at this time are currently under signal force 3 indicating those winds that are very likely around 101 gusting up to 185 kilometers per hour at least according to uh, gas out here be expected and we're still gonna be seeing the heavy rains across these areas in northern Luzon some areas could see as much as two to three hundred millimeters so there is a very very serious flood threat still coming out of this as well as landslides as we look ahead through the rest of Sunday and also into well Sunday night once a storm system makes that landfall and comes over land and we're just going to continue to see that rainfall uh, it, it doesn't stop once the storm comes ashore remember that as well it's going to continue to come down as we look ahead throughout Sunday and also into Monday you're still going to be seeing that moisture flow wrapping from the south and hitting those areas just north of it. now as far as Manila itself, you're going to miss out on the worst of this storm system. I, we are looking at tropical storm strength winds. Uh, they are very well possible. It's going to be rather gusty out here, some heavy rainfall. Uh, localized urban flooding is definitely going to be a, a major threat. But the good news is this is staying well removed farther off here towards the north. It's not going to be no rumma soon. Remember that one? That really brought some damage actually across the metro manila area as that came ashore a little bit farther towards the south this one's going to be a kagayan landmaker and then push across here and eventually push off there towards the west northwest and uh, those of you in hong kong across guangdong this is definitely going to be the next topic out this storm eventually pushes off into that direction and it could take a very similar track as ramasoon in this aspect uh, making landfall there just north of hainan some models actually picking up on kind of moving a little bit farther towards the north and putting Hong Kong in more of the crosshairs. But that's something we're going to actually watch and see how the storm interacts over the island of Luzon, how much it kind of wavers due to friction, and also the influences over the next 48 hours as it moves out there into the South China Sea. For now, though, the big topic still ongoing. Uh, what is happening out here across Aurora and uh, over towards Isabella and much of northern Luzon as our storm system continues to head off into that direction. You also want to know, uh, this isn't our only thing on the radar right now. Kalmiki is over here towards the west, but we do have another invest area we're continuing to monitor back towards the east. Some models actually being really aggressive on this and possibility of a new storm system. So for now, though, we're going to continue to keep an eye on this one and well, as we look ahead, this may be another thing to watch a little bit later on. Once again, though, if you have any photos or videos, please share with us. And as always, guys, stay safe out there.
Thanks for watching.